Here are some practice problems when practicing adjective endings after dare words. Before we go ahead and jump into these, just remember that dare words are in addition to dare, meaning the, could be welche, which, solche, such, jeder, each or every, dieser, this. So, the adjective endings um, after dare words, so you always have to figure out what's the dare, die, das, den, die, das. Don't forget there are four cases, so nominative is the subject. Accusative is when it's the direct object or um, the object of an accusative preposition. Dative is when it's the indirect object or the object of a dative preposition. Genitive shows possession or when it's the object of a genitive preposition. So you do have to watch out for prepositions on all of these exercises. Um, basically, you kind of have a 50-50 shot. I know it's not the best stat, but... Um, you, it's either E or going to be EN. My memory trick is think of the state in the United States of Oklahoma. And if you consider this as like Oklahoma, Oklahoma E. Um, or it could be like a little pot that you put on top of the stove. Um, so if I say I have the new book, book is das Buch. So that's going to be neuter. I is the subject. I have who or what. I have the book. Book is is the accusative case. So we now know that new, which is our adjective, has to have an E on it. So to say I have the new book, we would write Ich habe das neue Buch. I have the new book. So this ending E corresponds to the E here because it's neuter das and it's accusative. Ich habe das neue Buch. So we're going to look at some exercises. I'm just going to help start you out and the rest you guys could do for practice. So for these, I'm asking you to go ahead and um, complete the exercises. So während means during. Die Tage is the days, plural. Kühl is cool. So during the, the cool days, fahren wir nicht an den See. Um, we're not um, going on the, um, the sea. Sorry, lake. We're not going on the lake. So we're not going to take the boat out on the lake. Um, one of the things that should hopefully raise a red flag for you is this word. Während, meaning during, is a genitive preposition. So we already know, looking back at our chart, that we're going to be dealing with genitive. Now, yes, that's great because look at that. It's just ENs across the board. But we still have to worry about what's happening here with the plural genitive. Okay? So, um, genitive is uh, des, der, des, der. So when we're looking at the days, um, it's plural, so that's going to be der. And then we're going to take the word, our adjective, cool, cool. And we have to add the correct ending for days. So during the cool days, we're not going to go out on the lake. So um, we've already determined that this is genitive because it's a genitive preposition. So always watch out for those things. And let's just double check. So genitive, plural, is going to be en. So während uh, der kühlen Tage fahren wir nicht an den See. You'll also want to try these exercises. I would like to invite the little girl. They drive through this old city. That's a preposition. With which new friend does he go to the movies? Do you have the German newspapers? Or, sorry, have you read the German newspapers? Have you 
have the grandparents brought along this large package. In spite of the bad weather, we'll take a trip. This is a preposition. The customers, aus is a preposition. Oh, sorry, the customers come um, out of the this um, cool or chick store. I buy him this nice present. Which old museum have y'all visited? So definitely watch out for some of those things that I hopefully caught that are all in red. The second part, consider writing these out in German to see if you can figure out how you would write them. So let's take a look at the first example. I see the blue car. So that's going to be our adjective. Um, we can go ahead and conjugate for I see. So ich sehe. Now when it comes to this exercise, it's going to determine which kind of car you use. So I prefer das Auto. There's also the German word der Wagen, but I'm going to use das Auto. So das um, is going to take the accusative case, but it's not going to change, so we don't have to worry about that. The German word for blue is blau, and I'll figure out the ending in a second with you, and I'm going to use Auto. So I see the blue car. So we know that car is neuter, das Auto. We know that it's the direct object of the sentence. So this is the accusative case. So I'm going to quick backtrack and double check my chart. That neuter accusative is going to give us an E ending. So I would write, ich sehe das blaue Auto. Ich sehe das blaue Auto. So then you go ahead and try some of these. So we buy the red house. This one, watch out, it's a question. Can you eat the cold bread? You have to use a modal, a helping verb, and then your infinitive at the end. This is future tense. So you're going to have to use werden for will, and then use um, put to help at the end. And then this one, be careful, because in German there's a couple different ways to say to know. So which verb to know would you use for number five? So, viel Glück, viel Spaß.